Hello, it's Kaya Hickey with BMW of Ocala. Today I'm doing a walk around on a 2015 BMW 550. So the 550, all in turn is just saying that it has a V8, which is a 4.4 liter and it is a twin power turbo. 445 horsepower, 480 foot-pounds of torque. And this one is nicely loaded. You do have a lot of the great features with the M Sport packaging, executive packaging, rear view camera, navigation. You have your M Sport suspension as well. As well as your nice BMW halos. They're very nice and bright. With the sport packaging, you do get the nice honeycomb front. LED fog lights. LED turn signals in the windows, or the mirrors. So this one in particular is jet black with the Venetian beige interior. It's a very nice color combination. You do have your adaptive brake lights, so the harder you're braking, they will light up brighter in the back, letting the person behind you know that you're stomping on the brakes. Your dual exhaust, it is the sport exhaust, so you do notice that it is more rectangular than circular. And that is with the sport packaging. You have your sport rims as well. These are 19 inch M Sport specific rims. They are run flat tires, so you can go at least 50 miles on a flat tire, up to 50 miles per hour. So if you're on the interstate and you get a flat tire, you don't have to worry about um, changing it on the side of the interstate. You do have time to pull over and get somewhere safe. So I just, I'll just need the key fob. I'm just going to go ahead and hold that down. It will all up and on its own. So you do have your handles for your seats. For the back seats, you have 40-60 split, so you can have one seat or two seats down, depending on how much space you need. Your BMW all-weather mats as well as carpeted mats. If you are finished with the vehicle, you can just go ahead and hit that one. That'll lock the vehicle, but we are not done, so I'll just go ahead and hit the regular. Great amount of space in the back seat as well. Very nice with the Venetian beige. You do have the M Sport symbol here, as well as a little extra space behind the seats for storage. With this vehicle, you do get the Comfort Access keyless entry. So you see the ridges here, you can lock and unlock your vehicle by just having the key on you. You have your Harman Kardon stereo system, so 600 amp watts. BMW badging M symboling as well. These are the 20 way adjustable seats, which are also called multi contour. So you have where you can adjust the holsters on the side, your lumbar support, half of this, the top half of the seat, bottom half, everything is adjustable. Okay, so you have your automatic lights, automatic windshield wipers. Everything is done on its own there. Um, the only thing that isn't done on its own is high beams, and that is done from this lever on the left-hand side. Your paddle shifters with the sport packaging, as well as the M Sport steering wheel. So it's a little bit thicker, nicer feeling, leather. So it's a great feeling steering wheel. A little easier to hold on to, sportier feeling. Um, your dynamic cruise control is here, so if you put a speed in, it's going to do everything it can to maintain that speed. It will not um, go 10 over or 10 under because you're going up or downhill. It will use the brakes and gas as needed. Um, this is for changing radio station, volume, voice commands, their phone conversations. 
Um, you do have heads up display, so when you're doing anything on the right hand side of this, it will pop up in the heads up display. So you see there we're going zero miles per hour and you can see you're changing the radio station um, through here, which is super awesome. You can pay attention to what you should be paying attention to, the road. So that is a great feature to have there. You do have your dual air, so you can change the intensity and the temperature on both sides of the vehicle. You have everything with your iDrive is done right here. So if you're gonna turn and go through a um, list or the menu, you just use this on the side and to select, you push down. And again, as I always try to um, point out, this is the touch, um, the touch pad. So if you um, are putting addresses and you can use it to just write the address on the top of this. So I recommend pushing down on the sides and not in the middle. You have all your shortcuts, so you have menu, telephone, media, radio, map, back and options. So typically you can hit over to the right for options and that'll give you more options for split screen, um, change profiles, and if you hit over to the left, it will be back. So it brings us right back to the main menu. If you're changing your traction control, you wanna take that off. It won't be fully off, but majority of it will be off. You go ahead and hit that there. You do have your sport mode, which is gonna give you more sporty feel, um, a little bit better um, responsive of a vehicle. It will, um, it's like instant torque. It's a very nice feature to have. It's not like a lot of them where you put sport mode on and it just says sport mode. It doesn't do anything. That's what I love about ours is they actually change completely like you're driving a whole new vehicle. So you have sport, you have sport plus, which is the same settings just with the traction control off comfort and also eco pro so if you are doing a lot of in-town driving 75 miles per hour below i do recommend using this option here you get up to 20 percent better gas mileage so you do have your backup camera your sensors front and back of the vehicle your backup camera will automatically come on when you put the vehicle in reverse nice full hd backup camera will turn with you while you're turning the steering wheel so it is very precise too um, it shows you exactly where you're going it's not you know cloudy or anything you see exact behind you um, your auto hold is if you are in you know if you just don't want to hold the brake you go ahead and hit that on and it will hold the brake for you as long as you push down on the brake fully you can let go and as soon as you hit the gas it will turn off automatically you do have your um, parking brake here so it's not like before where you had to actually pull a lever you just have this button now nice and user friendly um, you have your eight speed transmission here so very smooth um it's very smooth with changing gears it's a lot better than you know before when everyone's like i want manual because it's smoother shifting um the way not smoother shifting but quicker shifting the way that they make our automatic shifters now it's it does a lot quicker than human response can even do so it is an amazing um, amazing feature to have on this vehicle you also hit over and you can hit manual if you do want to shift on your own and you can either manually shift from here or the paddle shifter so you have two options there as well go ahead and hit the go through the hood of the car So you see here, you do have your twin power turbo V8. So it is a lot larger than most of our engines, but it is still um, by the front axle, not above the front axle, which helps with the still stopping, accelerating, the handling of the vehicle with the 50-50 weight distribution. It still has the same safety features. It will drop down and go underneath you. It still is not going to end up in your lap. You have all your crumple zones still, so it will take the impact of the accident to make sure you don't. It'll do everything in its power before you get hurt to make sure that it does all it can to make sure that it gets hurt first. Everything is covered top and bottom of the vehicle, so that gives it a lot better with um, wind noise, road noise. Um, a lot less is going to be heard from that. If you have any other questions at all, please give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you or comment below. The number here is 352-861-0234. My personal extension is 8817. So if you want to give me a call there, um, please subscribe to my channel. I thank you for your time.